what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This is a tale of straddling the fence. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry showed up at a protest in his own city and got ran up out of that thing. I'm talking about the dude took the shame walk. Here's how it went down. Black guy passes him the mic. He starts talking. Talking about how he'll be coming to grips with his own brokenness, failures, and shortcomings in terms of his inaction uh, in regards to police brutality. And he's talking about reform. And he's like acting like he's very passionate. Great show. And get rid of systemic racism and da da da, all this type of stuff, right? So, having heard enough of that mumbo jumbo, black woman takes charge. Give me that mic. Uh, this is yes, no question. Yes or no. Will you defund policing? Will you defund the police department? He gets the mic and he's mumbling. So he finally says it. He says, I won't support that. Excuse my French and pardon my vernacular. But the sister said, get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. I will be in Minneapolis real soon in the coming weeks. And I will go out of my way to meet that woman. If you know her, patch me in, fam. I need to meet her. That's what I'm talking about. Look, fam, we can't play with this. We can't be nice. Time out for all that niceness, man. We tried all of that. Time out for all that trying to be cordial and friendly. Man, people out here dying. People are being executed, state sanctioned. People are being brutalized. There is no time for being nice and trying to be respectful. When in the face of disrespect, I can understand it if dude didn't come there to try to insult everybody's intelligence, but you either with us or you're against us. The police departments need to be defunded. And I'm gonna make a video about that. In fact, I'll probably follow it up in the next video or two. But, and I'll tell you why these uh, police departments need to be defunded. And, and I'll also explain to you the, uh, the effects. Now, this guy, I've seen him, he's been all over the news and he comes off as a guy who's compassionate because he's like, I, you know, I'm with the protesters and I, I understand and, you know, I'm with you, I'm with you. But at the same time, you're seeing video footage of his cops rolling around spraying uh, pepper spray they're pepper spraying. I, I saw a video I posted on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at Willie D. Live. I posted a video. Several cops are passing by. And they're actually dispersing tear gas into the crowd of peaceful protesters along the freeway. Totally unprovoked. He is the commander in chief, so to speak. For those officers. And on one hand, he's publicly saying, I'm with you, protesters. I got you. And we need to do something about these racists. While the racists are still being defiant and brutalizing and violating the people. He's trying to play both sides of the fence. And it's not going to work. We're talking about life and death. You're not going to be able to pacify us. Man, that shit is over. I'm telling you, fam, now is the time. There's a very small window of opportunity. 
to make something shake, to actually get some real reform. The time is now. If we miss this opportunity, I will guarantee you that your kids and their kids will be fighting these same battles and they'll be protesting. They'll be still talking about vandalism and looting and police shootings. And you still have the cop apologists out there. And if we don't get rid of it now, we don't nip it in the bud now, it's going to be way worse 20 years from now. If you think how bad it is now, policing has only gotten bad throughout the years. They've gotten pro progressively worse throughout the years. So that means it's a safe bet to say whatever you think about them now, however bad you think it is right now, it's going to be way worse in 20 years. I want to make something clear. I am not anti-police. I'm anti-police brutality. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?